Uh, first of all, the arts assembly is a process. Background is, is the economical collapse. And uh, Ivor and I started to think that what kind of value, non-monetary values are there to talk about art, to evaluate contemporary art. We had the first it's, uh, assembly in Helsinki in November, where we, st uh, where we wrote a constitutional charter. This is an assembly, so in assemblies you create its uh, constitutions from uh, scratch. So we engage the audience to define those rules themselves, to define the criteria, to enable a new vocabulary that they come up with themselves to describe the work. So they come up with the terminology which we then use, the Art Assembly generates, to then finally understand what they're actually after. So in a sense, uh, they constitute their own analysis, which is very valuable. They, they verbalize and they, they write the, the value rules of their own ideas. And the other chamber that we do, aside from the valuation chamber, is the round chamber. And the round chamber is, is, is a very antagonistic chamber. It's something that creates tension and friction and you know, anger and dislike, but then also uh, reconciliation by giving people different colors, by saying you have to show color, you have to say, I believe this and not that. And so one of the interesting things is at each time we do an um, evaluation chamber, we come up with many criteria that uh, we think apply to the work, so that the audience and the entire constituted constitution of the AA comes up with. And then once you do several works, you begin to see that there are certain similarities. And so you begin to understand, well, there is a certain thing that's not just arbitrary. It's not you just come to it, oh, I like it or I don't. Uh, there, there are certain things that are perhaps more universal than that. And so there's a whole philosophical background to this project, which is perhaps to do with the postmodernist collapse of any form of general universal principles, where people can say, well, we agree on something, and it's not just up to some what race, nationality, gender, or other category that you apply uh, you know, certain criteria to, but there are certain things that are perhaps more universal than that.